welcome back to Jay's Tech Tips. Um, here I am today with Toshiba Satellite C650 again. Um, today what we're going to do is something a bit more physical. So this time around, we're going to be upgrading this to a solid state drive. Alright, so the tools you only need for this is a flathead screwdriver. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, first of all, you're going to flip the laptop over and make sure when you work on this, you disable the battery. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to take off the hard drive cover. So I can guarantee you now, the hard drive is failing. Because it's probably at the age now where it's failing. Alright, so now that that's off, this is what we have to replace right here. So in order to do that, we take the caddy out, so we're going to unscrew right here. Now that screws out, we can just slide her out, just like that, and your hard drive's out. So, how do we get this caddy off? So, well, we just take off these four screws here, so one, two, three, four. So, we'll do that right now. Once your four screws are out, take the caddy off, and there's your hard drive all out. Now, we can put in our SSD, so make sure when you do this, you put it in this way. Make sure all your screws are in line, right there, and then you are ready to screw your screws back in. Alright, once that is all screwed in right there, now we can slide the SSD back in, right there, like so, and now we grab the screw to screw her back in. screwed in, we can put our cover back on, like so, screw the cover back in, and we can put our battery back in, alright, and now it's your solid state drive complete, I hope this video helps, if it did give it a thumbs up, if you're not a subscriber consider hitting that subscribe button, and in my next video, I'll be doing a video of how to install Windows 7. And I'll do a video of how to ins install Windows 10 from Windows 7. And yeah, I hope this video helps. See you in the next one.